Hi there, my name is Jimmy McSwing Fix, and I'm here to sort out some golf swings. Let's get straight down to it. What's your name, son? This is Jordan Spieth here. Nice to meet you, Jordan. Let's see you swing the club. Oh man, you got more chicken wing than KFC there, boy. How do you expect to hit the golf ball straight when your left arm is bent like a banana looking around a corner? Look at the state of it. You've got to fix that thing, son, if you want to get anywhere in this game. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, do I. Right, who's next? John Ram? Ram? Ramen Noodles? Ramen Dabba Ding Dong? Whatever your goddamn name is, getting up here, boy. Wait, was that it? I think I blinked and missed the whole damn thing. I've had sneezes longer than that, boy. Why the hell is your swing so goddamn short? You afraid someone's gonna steal your club if you let it out of your sight? Normal people take their putter back further than you take your driver, son. How do you expect to generate any power with that little miniature swing you've got going on? It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I? Right, who's next? Rory McIlroy. I'm actually quite nervous. Well, I didn't realize we had any juniors here today. How tall are you, son? Four foot? Are you still playing off the front tees? Maybe golf's not the game for you, boy. It's a power game now, son. Have you thought about, I don't know, being a jockey? Anyway, look, you're here now, lad, so let's see you swing it. Okay, so you are generating some power, which is impressive, considering you're shorter than Shetland Pony, but look how much your head's dipping, boy. You're gonna be duffing the ball every time with that move. I can't let you out on the course with that. You're gonna be taking divots with your driver. It don't mean a thing. If it ain't got that swing, do I, 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 Right, who's next? Hopefully I'll get someone half decent. I mean, where are you finding these no-hopers? What's your name, boy? I love being on the boat, whether I'm fishing or just out riding around. Are you a simple boy? I said, what's your goddamn name? Hi, I'm Dustin Johnson. Ah, oh, Jesus, come on, let's see you swing it. Whoa, 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 hold it right there, Lofty. What on earth is that grip? Are you gripping a golf club or trying to strangle a python? And look at your left wrist. You're gonna hook every ball a hundred yards left with that grip and that swing, lad. Come on. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do I, do I, do I, do I. Right, who's next? Ryan Moore. Ryan, Ryan, come on over here. What are you doing sat there watching Scratch Golf YouTube videos? Just makes every aspect of my game better. I base all of my decisions on that. Now, I don't blame you, son. It's a fantastic channel and a travesty it doesn't have more subscribers, but come on now, let's get over here and see you swing that club. What in God's name are you doing? Have your backswing and downswing fallen out or something? Why are they so far apart? It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I? God, this is a nightmare of a day. Who's next? Oh no, screw this, I'm out of here. The point of this video, if you haven't already guessed, is that there's no such thing as a perfect golf swing, and even if there was, you don't need it. Some of the best players in the world have got swings that are technically wrong. They've got these so-called swing flaws like chicken wings or dipping heads or dodgy swing planes. The kind of things that we look at in our swings and point them out and we say, well that's why I'm not very good, and then we spend our time working at it. But these guys are the best in the world, and they've got these same so-called flaws, and they're working out just fine. And that's because they're not really issues. None of it matters. The only place that your swing matters is at impact. All that counts is how you hit the ball. Yes, there's obviously stuff that goes on before impact that has an effect on what happens at impact. But as we've just seen, you can do some pretty funky stuff in your swing and still get into a pretty good impact position. It's just about finding a swing that works for you. So I guess what I'm trying to say is don't try and change your swing based purely on what it looks like make changes based on what your ball is doing. If your swing looks like someone trying to wrestle an octopus in a phone box, but you're hitting it 300 yards down the middle of the fairway every time, who cares? Going for the tee quickly, normally a good sign, and that is an absolute crackerjack. I'll tell happen. you what, Mark, it was a good shot, but it wasn't a great swing. <laughs> what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. 
I'm not saying that if your coach has pointed out things in your swing and said you need to change them, that you should ignore all that and say, well, who cares what it looks like? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that the only thing that matters is being able to hit the ball where you want to. That is the whole skill of golf. It's not a beauty contest where the person with the prettiest swing gets the most trophies. And in fact, sometimes the thing that might not look that conventional about your swing might actually be the best thing about it. Take that away and you might get loads worse. I don't really listen to what other people say, but if I had to dissect something, they might talk about kind of the, the left arm saying so square and maybe call you know, a chicken wing. It doesn't maybe look the prettiest. For me, it's an advantage because it holds my club face so square through impact. Club face doesn't rotate much. Therefore, if I'm off a little as I'm coming down into it, it's only gonna be off by you know, a degree or two degrees versus four or five. I mean, this swing here has won the US Open, FedEx Cup, 17 PGA Tour titles, and about 50 million pounds. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. I didn't realize my swing was that much different. It wasn't really until I got to the tour that I saw my swing a lot on television that, that I realized how different it was. It's my own move, it's natural to me, and I can repeat it because it is natural, and that's why it served me well over the years. So find a swing that works for you, get your coach to help you do that, and whatever it looks like, stick with it. Anyway, thanks as always for watching the video. I'll just see if Jimmy McSwing Fix wants to say anything. Ah, uh, Tiger Woods? Yeah, it's Jimmy McSwing Fix again. Look, I don't know if you're getting these voicemails, but give me a call back. I can get you sorted out in five seconds flat. Oh, sorry, yeah. Subscribe to the channel. We'll go see you in the future. That's just how it works. Ooh.